that's all about. We have a lyrical breakdown for four artists. Is um, Black Thought, Andre 2000, um, Jadakiss, and Nas. And they ask you to put it in order, like in, in your order. One Who's the best? Four, like who rocking the best? Yeah, one to four and then in that order. Boy, Cam um, Lily. I, I yeah. don't even know Cam about these jewelry. They, they put these in the star shape. I went with, me personally, I went with, um, I went with Andre. Obviously. Black Thought, Nas, and then Kiss. I can right. be real. I don't even know who fucking Black Thought is. Uh, I, I might hear him. Who, who you ever uh, do a track with Ja Rule? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I know who it is then. Now you said yeah, that. But I can't remember the verse because so it's, it, it's a disservice to him. I think he'd be automatically being number four on my list because I don't remember the verse. You got to listen to it again. Well, the only reason but I went with, only reason I went um, Andre and, Na, and um, Black Thought is because to me, like those two, uh, they more... Right. They more lyrical poets, mm-hmm. you know. Jada and Nas, they more street poets to me. Yeah. So they're like, in, in terms of discography, Black Thought don't have a big discography, but he has a lot, you know. Yeah. Black Thought was he's one of my brother in them one time in Fifty was just in right. Mm-hmm. But the thing yeah, about so me, I, even I watch though I don't job. remember none of his lyrics, I remember like him being substantial. Like he, you know, like he had a. But like I say, I can't remember the verse, so I mean, I might put him forward, but just, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie, after hearing Jada on our verses, you know? Well, we ain't even, I, well, <laughs> it don't even make no sense we go through this list, but it was a good list, though, for me, like, that's in, in terms of lyrical, um, lyrical breakdown, mm. you ain't get no four b- better than that. Jada Kiss, I only put him number, only, the only reason I put him number four, to be honest with you, is because I don't think... I don't think his wordplay is as great as Nas in the sense of, in the sense of, a po- in a poetic sense. A lyrical poet. Yeah, yeah. In a poetic sense. Um, you mean Kiss? Yeah, yeah, kiss. Come. I just don't think you could really compare them like that, bro, because Nas on a different, when he freestyle it, compared to, cri- to Kiss, Kiss on some street street shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he coming with bars, yeah. but Nas trying to make you think. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so if you if you listen to the album, he he says straight up by like, giving you something to think about. Yeah, so you know what I mean. A, that's a, like like if you say in a street lyricist, then you would have to give it to you know to kiss. Yeah. Box. Let me get the drop from you. Hey. Welcome to the Two for Two podcast. I'm your host Rivers here today with some of my good co's and friends. Got Banks here, Infinite here. Wizzo in the corner. We got Wizzo over here in the cut. But um, how y'all doing today, man? What's good? Really blessed. All is good. Let me just apologize for missing over the last two weeks. I know I've been getting some heat from my brethren. No, man, that's all right. You know you had a big birthday, big slash. You yeah, over there yeah the your boy was enjoying any time off the island. You want to so tell us how the city what? No. <laughs> what happens in the city stays you know, in the city. You don't like it, y'all, but you got to start with this podcast and be so cool. <laughs> I, 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 I got this podcast with this shit, but but This is how he is. Huh? Yeah, like, like this. Know, real goofballs in here, but these niggas trying to play cool. But, but anyway, it was good, though. It was good. You know, I, I got asked a question. You was asked, right? How was your weekend? <laughs> how was your weekend? <laughs> it was cool. I was, I was out of town. Was oh, out of oh you, you, was, you was in foreign. I saw, I, I saw that shit. Thanks. You, you was here for the last two shows? I was here for the last one. We only had one. So yeah. No, 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 no. Last you one. had two shows. Had two. You yeah, had two had, shows. Had two. No, I, I missed one. I was here for the last all one. All right, all right. So yeah. me and you on the same schedule. No, 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 no. I, sure I beat you. I beat you at one. I beat you at one. Because, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could beat me at <laughs> one. But you know, once you on the show and I on the show, it's a show. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> you make that shit happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was out, I was out in town, you know, in Miami for a week. It was crazy just to Buy see like. <laughs> it's crazy to see how like nobody wearing masks over there. Like, they been doing that in Florida though. I had a lot of guests. I mean, they been over that shit long time. Like, we just catching like, up. Niggas was looking at me like, who the fuck you? Like you have COVID? Yeah. yeah. I was like, shit, dog. But hey, but you gotta blame it on the government, bro. That governor 
is not following the CDC guidelines. Yeah, the CDC say the mask only twenty percent effect, right? I, I know it's better than nothing. It's better than right. I saw I saw he put out a report saying that he's gonna hold, um, I guess, school officials their pay if they enforce or try to force students to wear their mask in school. So what, he wants to um, encourage not wearing your masks. Yeah. yeah. Why you bigger for her than you? Why you double up in the block for that? I'm a street nigga, baby. Bye, great. Yo, chat. Right. I mean, I like this shit, dog. From being a man doing a nice side doing it. It's what I do. I double cup. Right. But that just right. that just shows us, like, bro, this whole thing is a political thing, bro. This whole pan- um, pandemic, it, to me, it's just political. Um, Worldwide. Worldwide yeah. political. Um, if, and if you're going to talk about politics, you could even talk about the New York governor who just getting who just resigned over allegations and how what his stance was on, you know, COVID nineteen and all that. And he admitted it's political, bro, it's political. So Yeah. I mean I, I, I personally think mm-hmm. it's it's really stupid for the government to keep pushing by curfew hour after hour. And we still got these hotels open, we still got businesses supposed to be open. COVID, like you you you, you uh, fucking up the system? Requesting that he be able to come out an hour early. Or Who's that? COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> but a lot of places, even like in Texas too, a lot of places around the United States, every guest I mean, they ask them, you know, if they go into the same procedures. They definitely don't have no lockdowns at all. Nah. So they out. They don't have to wear masks. Um, they saying if you're fully vaccinated in certain areas, you don't have to wear masks at all as, as well. You can enter establishments without your mask all day, every day. When you here in the Bahamas, we gotta wear masks. Um, we have quite a few. Like it's crazy. I'm mean, behind. You yeah, I take it. I take nah, it. You bro. could only you could only get COVID after nine. Like it only comes after like, nine. And bro, or in the Caribbean. Or, or if you go to a party environment or something. You see Jamaica curfew time. But time. Seven, seven, seven o'clock. Right? But on Sundays curfew start at two three, p.m. Yeah, two three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Real? Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. On Sundays to go to church. And go on. They just as stupid as us. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, <laughs> hey, yeah, they, they in the Caribbean. <laughs> they in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> so let me hit the, let me hit the drop. Baby. Let me hit our sponsors. Um, shout out our sponsors, Smokers Den. Check them out at Smokers Den Two Four Two Den at Marquis Street Plaza. Um, mm-hmm. Check they got all your smoke essentials. Um, everything you need, hookahs, cigars. Yeah, um, everything. And just ask for Chris and tell Chris River send you when they gonna give you some big discount because <laughs> you guys are watching this podcast. <laughs> and uh, the code, good. the code to take <laughs> when you go to Smokers Den is C Y C two four two. My name is Rivers. Whistle. Bang on the dotted line. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell us where, tell, tell, tell everybody where we at, man. All right, guys, today we're, we're recording from Incudes West. All right, it's a shared workspace company. Uh, if you want to come on down, have a look at the spot. You know, we have uh, offices for rent. Also, if you just want to become a member, you need some place to work out of, get some f- for Wi-Fi, free print services with your membership. Come on, hit us up. We're in the old Fort Bay Plaza above Rokan Sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ever eat from Rogan Sushi? I had a sushi here. No, I never nah, had sushi. I had never it. Had it's had cool, it. but I still uh, prefer... Seafront. Yeah. I prefer Seafront. Just, yeah, just to piggyback off, off what, you, what you said, though, but, uh, you know, um, Incudes is a great place. Like, for folks who have, you know, who work from home or they have a, a home-based business or whatever the case may be, if you're looking for some place to meet clients and, you know, make yourself look... Uh, at another level in this business, I think in QDS is a great place that you can come and rent a desk for the day and you can have all your meetings, man. So come on over. It's a shared workspace. It's really beautiful. I've walked the whole facility today and you won't be disappointed if you come down here. So definitely come check it out. Yeah, it's definitely a vibe. Um, I'll do it again for sure. Like right now, we in the whole conference room on a big screen projector and board table and 10 chairs. And, you know, we just vibing out here, man. Hey, tell them that the check when we finish. Yeah. Make sure I put clay in the on it. You want to follow proceeds. Uh, come on, man. What, what y'all got today? We got um, we got the verses. They upset the locks. Boy, I tell you. Hey. Boy, I tell you. Cam should keep his hair cut, this, though. This, this, to shit. Me, this to me was one of, um, this is one of the greatest, like, 
straight out hip hop versus yeah, this one was I, hype. I've seen. I know this I say this a lot. This was a show. This yeah. was a show. It a was performance, a, especially by Jada. Like just everything from the from the intros, uh, Styles B came out pumping his chest, letting you know he was ready yeah. to battle. Hey, one up. of the headlines after live was uh, I think with Jada on the locks, they chose violence. Yeah, because bro. That who shot your freestyle was very. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even want to talk about. Hey, that. they actually just cleared that and made that made that a single, so you can find that who shot your freestyle on every platform right now. Honestly, you know. Um, but it was definitely Yonkers versus the Bronx. I'm oh, sorry, versus Harlem. Harlem yeah. You know what I mean? And it was definitely a show, bro. All the heat that we saw. Like these. But like straight entertainment, man. These niggas look like the locks talking about. They look like they just came off a of tour. Yeah. Like you could tell Dipset, they were out of sync with one another. You could see him dance. You could you could you could you could tell they hadn't seen one another in, in a minute. Yeah. yeah, I just gonna say you have to keep in mind the locks just dropped something like a year or two yeah, ago. Album, so yeah. Dipset didn't really get a chance to connect in a minute. First thing the first thing Jada said was Nigga Cam, you live in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even from New York. You, right go, first. Yeah, you like, go first. You go first. Nigga, you live yeah, in Miami. Yeah, was clowning them like, you guys rapping over, you rapping over your lyrics. Yeah, yeah they, they don't remember like, the lyrics. I remember New York, this like, is New York, the American hip hop, what you doing? Yeah, Jada, Jada was just the cadence, his, his, um, his confidence on the mic. Like, you could have tell that he was in his bag. I, I have a question though. Uh, you said America hip hop. You believe that? You believe New York is America hip hop? No, I mean, yeah, but yeah, that's where it started. But I mean, like, mm-hmm. what what city you think running hip hop right now? No, I think more down south, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, definitely. I think the south is spread out, but then hold up. the south is definitely taking over yeah, hip hop. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It all depends what region you in. What city and state is actually running the game now we in the bahamas bro we more used to southern hip-hop you know what i mean so florida atlanta new york but bro that west coast they got some heat too bro in LA? Yeah. Yeah, that's some not west coast music got coast. some heat bro no i'm not saying that they're Don't not slip. nice but let's watch this you got artists like blast who, who these are fairly new artists yeah. just drop a whole mixtape of being O'Radu and that topping the charts right what's, now what's his name Blast, B-L-X-S-T, Blast. But when you look at, it? when you look at, the, like, some of the top MCs in the game right now, you could say, like, Lil Baby. Right. Uh-huh. Um, you, you even got, like, Moneybag, yo. He ain't from the South. He ain't from, he ain't I mean, he from Memphis. Memphis. Memphis the South. I mean, he ain't from ADL, my bad. He's yeah, Memphis. Memphis the South. I'm talking about, like, South, like Southern bass rappers. Yeah. Majority of the, one of the, some of the hottest rappers right now coming out of the South. You got a few... You got a few Midwest, um, mostly even, East Coast, Chicago niggas. Even if you look at the the, the old school South, like Tip, Cheesy, Coochie Man, like them niggas was running that shit from like, even Okias and Okias. Okias is the first niggas who really put the South on the map in terms of Southern hip hop. Right. So that they been doing their thing. Mm. And then a lot of a lot of artists now live in ATL a lot. Right. Yeah. Forward thinkers, man. That's what this week is all about. Forward thinking. Mm-hmm. Even sitting in this spot, looking at this spot, this is forward thinking. This is innovation. You know, Facts. we don't have a lot of places like this here. Um, I just want to get something off in terms of 2015. A lot of people. The reason why I want to go here is because I like where we at now. I like where we at with podcasting. I like. Um, shout out to all the other Bahamian podcasters out there. I like the people is uh, they're taking advantage of this space yeah. in terms of podcasting. Um, 2015, if I was to mention podcasting, any one of you niggas, y'all look at me like, what the fuck's going on? Well, you know I, was, I, you know, I knew I was beyond that tech stuff, so I was just like, I really have nothing. I think people are interested at the time. I was still, you know, yeah, learning let me, some stuff. Let me, let, me, let me finish my point, though. Go if ahead. I say that, to say that. Um, in, 19, in the 1980s, if you wanted to be a sports announcer or radio host, you would look you you would be looked at as absurd. You know what I mean? Like they don't make any kind of they don't like make no money. They don't make nothing substantial. Like what the fuck you doing with your life? I mean back then, nineteen eighty. Right. Fast forward two thousand and four. Broadcasters were averaging about three hundred thousand a year. A year. Right. Now we get into broadcasting. 
podcasting, it started around 2004. It really didn't pick up until about 2014, right. 2015. The highest paid podcaster right now just signed a deal for 100 million. Last, I think it was last year. It was earlier this year. Earlier this year. That ain't me. Forward thinking. You see what I'm saying? Because before, Joe Rogan was looking at uh, people. When Joe Rogan started his podcast, people looking at him like, you know, what the fuck? Like, what, 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 what is this about? But he believed in something. He saw something. Forward thinking. Um, Jeff Bezos, 2000, sorry, 1999, started Amazon with $250,000. What is it? Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah. The I day? just saw a video of him, actually. That was uh, 2009, I think it was. They did an interview with him. And they were like, you're right now you're worth roughly 9, what? 10 million, that? right? And let he me, was... He let was me finish my point. Pardon me. Let me get to my point. Damn, I forgot what I was saying with that book. Jeff Bezos. Right. Jeff Bezos. Um, started Amazon, 250000 Right. 1999. Mm-hmm. Fast forward to today. Jeff Bezos makes 3500 a second. 3500 a second. He makes $9 billion a month. Forward I can use a month of that. Forward thinking. We need innovators, bro. Shout out to everybody that believes, that has a vision. Once you see the vision, mm-hmm. Believe in yourself. Go for it. You know what I mean? We started this thing off. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but it's going pretty good. What, this? Yeah. It's going pretty good. Yeah, man. And we got, a long, we got a long ways to go. But um, just shout out to everybody that supports us, everybody that's here with us. Um, it's going to be a journey, like I said, but we're going to get through it. Forward thinkers. I, I just want to say, had you come to me in 2015 in regards to doing the podcast, I didn't do it because I like to be on camera anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't fuck with that shit. But yeah. Yeah, man. Four things, guys. Innovation. Believe in your vision. That's the only thing I can tell you. Uh, let's move on. What else we got? Um, so uh, yeah. Let me finish talking about Jada. Boy, Jada. Jada looked like he didn't miss a beat. No, Jada looked like Jada looked like 2004 Jada. Like Jada was never really on a hard now. Calm down. Okay, okay. So my, 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 my. No, no, no. My, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me speak. Let me speak. My apologies. You know I can stop letting you do all that. Let me speak. Let me speak. You know I can stop letting you do on this podcast. You know I can stop letting you do on this podcast. You need to learn to differentiate between when you like someone, right, and the greatness of someone. Can I speak now? You don't have to like a person to realize no, 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 no. their greatness. I, I'm and not. To acknowledge when they're great. I have no issues with Jada Kiss. Or most New York rappers. However, Chidakis is great lyrically, right? But I mean, commercial wise, he wasn't as big as some other artists. Like, Jaru was probably bigger than him commercially. But Definitely. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> he is good no, lyrically. You're, you're right. He, he wasn't as big as he yeah, wasn't big as big as yeah, that like, was but, job. but that usually comes. It ain't much. See the type of style the locks them is on. And he ain't too many street dudes. These real street niggas we yeah. talking about here. Like like DMX is one of the few like one of them few street guys who, who go on mainstream. Like right. Niggas, niggas in New York know about him and his dog. And to me, people. To me, <laughs> and just in my mind, I don't I don't validate um their I guess their commercialism with their success. Yeah. Like they successful rap. They're successful rap. Every they album they put out went platinum. I think they only got two. When you when you say you don't you don't rate their um, success with their commercial, isn't that isn't that a part of it? Like the more commercial you are, the more money you make, the more entertainment. No, not really. No, not really. More shows you book, the more you people could, listen to your music, the more screams you get. I mean, in this day and time you now, could, you could have shows that don't have to be mainstream, and then but are you going to make money? money? Yeah, you make, make more money, you make off, more shows. money off shows. Than no, you do, but are you going to book out your shows if you're not really mainstream? Yes. Yeah, what your, your, your day one fans are. Cold following. Jada got a cold following. Bro, if they Styles said, got a cold following. Bro, if they filling up some stadiums, you know, they making that money. Bro, that's still success. They in Jay-Z, but they still successful. No, I'm not knocking their success. I'm just saying they are not commercial as I 
as some other they artists that I used to that's listen to back in the day. They, yeah. They're not commercial, but, they but you're not going to use it against them. They still make it money. Right. If, if, if we go off this hip, if we go off this, um, this, this versus radio. Right. Um, I would have said that Seth would have won it. They got, they got bigger hits. Yeah, they, they got, do. They got bigger <coughs> hits. More known, but. They more hits. They more hits. They more hits. He said, you're no, taking no, more I hits than no, the lot. Oh, no, I said, I said, before the bottle, I would have I would yeah, the dip yeah. set because you they got bigger hits. They, they, were, they are more commercial well hits. Let me show you. Jay is so. a performer too. Listen, Jay is a performer. Listen to what I'm telling you. Jay, I, I understand yeah, where you're coming yeah. from, right? But so they, they outclassed them. In every fast form and fashion, they outclassed and, them. And all, performance. I, and all I can say is the reason why you would say you will go with Dipset, right? I just told it's you. It's because, no, 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 no. Don't say hits because it ain't yeah, hits because these reason. niggas got hits too. But oh, Locks. But they got bigger bro, hits. Locks, Locks still writing people music up to this day, bro. We know that. Yeah. These days, hey, hey, you, you know, know, know that. Do you know Jada wrote uh, a lot of the tracks off a of Victory album? He wrote, he wrote, he wrote, you know, on. you know, Jada Kiss wrote tracks off a of Kanye album about the drop. Donda? Yeah. Him on Styles? Come on, bro. Like, I just, I just showing you, bro. Hold on. A nigga, a nigga like Kanye using Ghost Riders? Yeah, bro. Isn't that the same kind of shit? Isn't that the same kind of shit? Your boy trying to knock Drake? No, no, no. no, no. And even just Drake. Watch this. Um, what's her name? What's the girl name? Her? Is it her? I think it's her. After one, look at, hey, we, we love no so man, much. no, no. It's 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 yeah, it's one lady. Yeah, it's her. it's one uh, female artist that write almost half a Chris Brown or discography. Bro. Oh, Seven Streeter. Seven yeah, Streeter. Yeah, Seven Streeter. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that show. Ghost writing ain't nothing new, bro. No, but at the same time, but especially in R and B. But when, it, but let's go back to no, Dipset. Yeah, yeah. Let me get back to Dipset. So one the mic. reason, the reason I think that you would side with Dipset before watching the show. Is because Dipset was way more commercial. You say, you say, that's what I for, said. No, 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 no. And not in terms of music, you know, in terms of us growing up and seeing rap on TV, bro. It was Dipset. You say, I, they say, looks wasn't on TV like that. They let me, more underground artists. Let me, let me tell you why I agree with that, too. Because, you know, growing, when we were growing up and these things were out there and, and and what's not, we didn't have the avenues that we do have now to research and look for underground or not as locally known or popular artists. Like, that shit, when we could see more underground artists, that started a little later. Right or wrong? Right. So, that's why. That's why we jump on them. But, I always, to be honest, I didn't even know about the locks being a group until like 2000 fucking AD. <laughs> I only used to listen to Jada Kiss himself, and I know him and Styles P did a lot of That's songs cool. together. You but know, the Locks itself, I never know them. No niggas. I find out about the Locks is with the Money Power Respect, Money. Lil Kim, DMX. Reckon, uh, I, oh, I, that's I, them. I heard. I, I heard. heard. Band for TV, Reservoir. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. I don't know them niggas. I don't know them niggas. My introduction to DMX too, and my life was never the same. Can I? Can I? Can I just make the statement? I apologize. When I when I came to hip hop, the only thing I was on and strictly was Hot Boys and Lil Wayne. I was on them niggas for the longest. See, and you, then I started to branch out much later. The problem I have with you is, <laughs> you if you don't like the artist, you don't you see the it. greatness. Who, who artists? Who artists? I do not like besides. Retarded ass Kanye and Jay Z. I think Jay Z is highly, highly overrated. I don't care who feels the same way as me, as me or who doesn't. That's Jay Z is highly overrated. Right or wrong, Wizzo? Let's, let's move on. Right or wrong, Wizzo? Shut, right Shut up, Banks. Right or wrong? Shut up, Banks. Let's, let's move on. Dude. Y'all got something else? Come on, uh, give it, me something else, someone, please. Yeah, I, I know what. As, uh, in terms of what? Topic. Let's get off this. I, I see this nigga. Topic. Jay Z is overrated. What you think, Wizzo? Which one you? I, I already said what I had to say. <laughs> I know what huh? you read it over there. Jay say? He's both. I think. He's both. I think Kanye is overrated. Oh, <laughs> no. I think Yeezys are overrated. Yeah, like no, no, no. I, I like the new Yeezys. Don't get me wrong. You could like them, but bro, no, no, no. They look different, but that's a difference. Bro, I see anyway, some of them. I ain't getting to like fashion right now. Shoes, man. But some hype, but the moon shoes one. Come on, bro. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, so. Come on, right. seriously, big guy. We could uh, we could move on now. Yeah, man. I just wanted to make that clear. Jay Z's overrated and Kanye. Be quiet, man. So we still <laughs> wait. We still waiting on the release of Donda. 
I don't know if y'all what? saw, but y'all gonna wait on that. What does Donda mean? Did he that's give you a minute? That's, that's something to do with God. Eh? That's his mother's name. Donda. Yeah. Donda or Donna? Donda. No, no. I think she named Donna. Donda sounds retarded as a female's name. Wait. That's not like a place where you go worship freaking who, evil who spirits. We can move on show. with something else. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and let's, and talking about, hold on, hold on. Let's talking. Music hold, on, hold on, talking about worshiping evil spirits. <laughs> if y'all watched the, the album release party for the Donda, right? That, that didn't seem like he was trying to mimic God or something, bro. That was greatness. On the what? Split. What are you trying to mimic? Wait, bro, you get this nigga brainwashed. Yeah, he's so you love this nigga. Bro, I, I look at that and it's like, I can't Wait, watch this, bro. That, you saying that Jesus I, is his Lord and Savior? The nigga, the nigga, the nigga. His Lord and Savior. Yeah. Triple nigga. The nigga was levitating from the, from the ceiling of a studio. Dog, he and trying he, to imitate like he is a god, bro. You know he, he does think goat, that, though. But you want no god, that's bro. demonic to these niggas. No, I didn't say it's demonic. I just think it's... He think he's a god and he's nothing like him. He just has a, some money now. Hey, all I got to say to that he might is I grew up in a Christian nation and they tell me only one god before me. Well, you say, say Kanye, he I only believe it in one god. The hey, god of beats. I, would, I mean, I would like Kanye to jump on that topic, right? But religion is a touchy topic. So yeah. I right. ain't doing nothing. That's not what they have got. I would like to get on that. Because we already know, we already know Rivers is atheist anyway. Atheist? Wow. Yeah, man. When when we ne- okay. a five hour podcast, <laughs> okay. we can talk about that. Let, let's talk about Nick Cannon's interview then. Yeah, uh, we can let we can let um we can let Rizzo segue that because he know more about it than me. Say what? Nick Cannon Nick interview. Cannon, you want to talk about that? I, I I don't really know much about it, but from me understanding, you know, everyone has been like future is the most disgraced or the one who actually putting babies all over the place having baby mothers. When like, Nick Cannon actually mm-hmm. topping future in a way. Nick Cannon had four babies in one year. My man is great. Four. He's five. great. Five. five or four? Yeah. Twins. Two yeah, twins. set of twins. And, uh, it's two had, twins? Yeah, he had one. No, 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 no. No, no, you have one no, set no, no. of twins, bro. It's two twins? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know about one. I didn't five know one set of twins. I know. Yes. I know. Mariah have a set for him, and he had another set after that. I didn't know it was three sets. Let me say three sets of twins in total. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. You do have, you have the twins with Mariah. Yeah, no, yeah. So, so, he had had twins, right? yeah. Okay. so he had four kids this year. This year? Yeah, this year alone. He had four yeah. kids. My daughter's two years And he had, he had three of them within a month of each other. Oh. You see what I'm saying? I'm so, drink. you know, where everyone was like, you know, Nick Yan and kind of savage for the shit right now, right? <laughs> so he went on the breakfast club and... They was asking him about, you know, why you decide to procreate with all these different women and all that and other stuff and why you're not using protection and all that. And he, he had some valid points out there. Um, firstly, yeah, he, had yeah. some, he had some health issues in the past. Yeah, he had and lupus, his, right? he, yeah, he didn't know how long he was expected to be on this earth. So once he was out of the doctor's office, he decided that he was just going to live, live his life to the fullest, basically. Oh, so, so he, be, he beat his disease with yacht? He be, he yeah, no, I don't know if I it's beating it. Yeah, he, he, he just... found treatment or something. Yeah, something going yeah, on. Yeah, treatment. Where, uh, he I think he still has lupus. He just he yeah, learned he, he probably, He's treating it. He probably does that doctor say. But I know at one yeah. point, I know at one point he was yeah, on... Um, he was uh, in the hospital. And for a while. Yeah, for a while. Because Getting I think blood he had like transfusions and all that. Yeah. Shit like that. So, but anyways, um, so they it got to the point where they started talking about him having kids, and he said it straight up. You know, in life, every first sexual encounter you have with somebody, you know, it starts off with condoms, right? For most yeah. people, I know it banks. He's looking at me. No, no, especially behemoths. I'm going to say that's all I got. <laughs> right? <laughs> that first sexual encounter will always start off using condoms, right? For the for the majority of us out there. Yeah. But especially me. Throughout. <laughs> that in t- throughout that, that tenure, you know, once you all decide that, you know, you now have this trust in each other and some days may happen, like the condom may slip off at one time and you finally get to feel however it feels naturally. A real and shit. then you get used to it you and you say, shit. well, we don't need condoms no then more, you, you know. You start yeah, ODDs. so. Oh, baby, I like it, Lord. All that just start happening and he just end up, you know, getting caught up and he had four kids in a year and he said he wouldn't even um, take it back if it was an option for him. He is grateful that he have his four beautiful kids or this number of beautiful kids that he's had in this year and he's very happy although they were different women and he doesn't see himself uh, getting married again uh, due to 
marriages from history, something to do with land or, or property owners uh, trading their land for someone else's daughters officially and, and strictly, to, strictly to that person. So that's where marriage really came from. But we're not going to get into that because we got some females in there who may, you know. No, 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 we can get into that. <laughs> that's my thing. You ever watch like certain movies, right? Like where they, um, they even say that you marry my daughter, we can um, make this a union of peace if you are at war and our two kingdoms are going to be combined. Mm -hmm. So that shit is kind of true. And we yep. see it in some of our movies. A lot of our movies and shows that we watch, they give us hidden messages that we, it goes over our head. You don't pay attention to it. Even but I am. Um, Correct. I, I agree <laughs> with Nick Cannon. Yep. Marriage is, you know, I think marriage and monogamy is like, was designed for economical purposes. But like mm. we said, we're not going to get too deep into that. Bro, but <laughs> monogamy <laughs> was designed for economic purposes. Hey, huh? Just all tell right. us you won't be a bad bitch. That's all right. No, first no, no, and no. foremost, I'm, run first and foremost <laughs> I'm a great man. We're not going to say anything about no, me being mean, a, I'm a great man. Right. Let's, yeah. let's say that. Right? How about this? Uh, um, let's have a poll right now. We're going to go around the table right now. No, no, we can keep it on it. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah. You see yourself getting married? Yeah. yeah. You ain't sound too sure. Yeah. Vines, you see yourself getting married? Not happening. Rivers, you see yourself getting married? Yeah. He's a liar. And my last self, I can tell you one thing. I see myself getting married. Getting but guess what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, get, I, I see myself getting married, right? But, 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 I only have one wedding in me, bro. Oh, yeah, one. I only have one, only two. Wait. I don't see myself getting married. If the, oh, if the marriage this. fail, I sorry for whoever afterwards. Bro, you, you can expect anything out of I, me except I a wedding. Agree with you, I don't bro. care. I probably take marriage more serious than any woman who won't get married, bro. Because see, for most women, a lot of times it'll be about the hype mm -hmm. and all that. Me, I looking at it just like, bro, if I with you, you ain't just have my body, my spirit to be tied to you, bro. Yeah. You say, you see it? I, you know, if I make a big, I the type of dude, if you see me make up my mind, do something, bro, mm. I come in to do it right. So now, if you only about the hype, and when pressure come, you all about your friends, all of my business, I can't have no peace, bro, first of all, I'm fucking out of there, <laughs> right? Because God say he want me to be healthy and happy. Yes. Yeah, we say tell dad do his part, but a miserable marriage will kill me, and I get in the fuck out of there. Yeah. Well, see, 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 yeah, I we, don't... I don't see myself. I don't see myself. Uh, well, I'm saying it now. I don't know how it'll be. Like, yeah. Next like five years. When the time comes, but I don't see myself. Next week. I go on beyond one marriage. Like if the first one didn't work out. For now, that's my mindset. Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. I can blow. Bro. I can blow y'all brain. It Rivers. Yeah, blow our mind. Rivers bro. know this. Uh, Rivers don't know this, and infant don't know this. I was married before, right? And. I wouldn't say because I was married before and, it, and I, we're not married anymore. It That's scarred it. me as well. I don't want to get married anymore. But it opened my eyes that I believe in different things. I, feel, I personally feel as if marriage and a lot of other things that we do in society is based on the perception that society gives us. Society gives us perceptions that if you're not married, you don't have kids or a business, you're not happy. Or these are the ideal things to make you happy. When whatever makes you happy in life, that's what you should go with. Right. Let me exactly. ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Just speaking hypothetically, if you were to get married today, right? what would it be for? Like if you were to marry someone, what would that reason be? I can't tell you because I, I can't see me getting married. No date. Not even I can today. tell you what <laughs> I get I married for. Hypothetically, all right. I can tell you what I get married for right now. One, if I get married today, that's because me and Shorty have been together for a while and she expecting a wedding from us. So you you know what what she expect it? No, no, no. I could do it because it's owed to her that we've been in this relationship for a period of time. We've been smooth. You know, I feel as if I am in love with this person, although, you know, love could be blinding at times and love could have ups and downs and all that, right? But I just feel as if we don't have to be married for me to show my love to you. I agree. We don't have to have this government signed document That's how to I say that we love each other. I agree. You see what they say? I feel like I feel like if you feel that way from your heart, whether you're man or woman, that's real than having a ceremony. Yeah, exactly. But see some people they'll say they love you, right? But let me tell you about it. Like some shit don't get smooth because people is don't want to be real with you and be real with themselves mm -hmm. with the trauma and all these other stuff. Some people want they want love. 
They want marriage more than they actually want a healthy, loving relationship. Facts. Exactly. Because if you, want, Facts. If you go and sit down and say, boy, I know this world from Samo, right? Mm-hmm. And you love the person, right? But you see how this could be a problem and spill over. Mm. You try and sit down and talk about it, they get defensive or feel judgmental. When you try to have this conversation of love, because you want, when you want, when you you want to get to that point, and when you get to that point, you make sure you're so solid that nothing from your old past keep you or hold you all back. Hit but, jumps, they, hit but they mindset more on the pretty pictures and my friend married and fulfilling some insecurity or codependency or or relationship or goals or. Oh, yeah, never having a baby, and they parents yeah. say, What's the window witness? <laughs> <laughs> so, why keep Just it real, me. son? I like, ain't trying to bash no one, but that's the real way society. They didn't even know, they didn't know that baby was a mistake, and they asked her with the wind. Rizzo, listen to me. But it gotta be the substance, too, King. I agree. I, I heard you say, I heard you say, um, you would, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get married because of, um, because of, not because of love, you wouldn't get married, you'd get married because you love the person. Yeah, it would. That that would be the reason you get married, though. Just no. You love them? No. All right. Like I tell you right now, bro. Honestly, bro. I I know marriage is here with us, but I like I said, I don't feel as if I have to give you my name or we go through this ceremony to prove that we love each other. If we love each other, let's live our lives, bro. See, but bro. my old man and his um, BM been together for eighteen plus years. Never married, five kids, and love the fuck out of each other, bro. Wait, but you have that. I know, I know, you, I know a few wait, couples wait, like wait. that. I know a few you know couples like that. A lot of people don't even know for them. They might have seen their parents get married, whatever the case may be, but a lot of people don't understand what the foundation of marriage is. Now. Marriage starts before the ceremony, but because yep. guess what? When you, when you say you love somebody and you're with them, bro, your spirit becomes tied to them, right? So whatever disturbance is, mm-hmm. you all two have. That will affect how you your the, energy, you the mic. how and your energy what? marry. And guess what? You say, you say it? Truth be told, you won't even have to have these ceremonies, you know. Because after being together, living in the same house for a period of time, you are now considered married common, or common, common law. You say, you say and then, like, So you don't like have I to say, have no official like say, ceremony and all that. Is because we, we stray so far from whatever the true understanding of marriage is, we just do it now because it's something we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Or we they, think we're supposed most, to do. Most people, it's a fantasy. So, so like I say, the real man really with somebody, but when you open your heart, you say you love somebody. Mm. Bro, think about it, bro. Most time when you meet a girl, you might start off being cool and all that, your guard up, right? But some, when you start liking the girl, you be like, you know, the fool's boy doing this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you see what you say? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You feel a little bit weird. You sometimes you try to fight it, and then, you know, especially when you're younger, if you meet someone when you're young and you all start getting serious. Mm. But then, but you know, like, for, like some dudes, but you wouldn't cry in front of your bedroom. But no. then when you find them, you would, some dudes when they get married, they cry. And I understand why, bro. I, I, you see I, it? Bro, <laughs> I know I someone know. who cry. I know some people. I know one of my brethren actually, I call no names, uh, and that's supposed to be somebody takes to the grave. But the the night before you get married, this boy had the realest breakdown, bro. Like he was like, "Boy, I love this woman, but I give her some my entire life right now." But you know, and he was prepared for that. He wasn't fully prepared for it because one, he wasn't fully over. Yeah. But hey, now watch what happened. Yeah. I say, bro, if you really want, take this step tomorrow. Pick up the phone right now and let the next one know you're getting married tomorrow. That way, you know it's nothing else coming after that. You say, saying he did it and they had a hard, hard conversation, and then he was ready to go on the stage. Honestly, you say, saying so. It just takes it back to like, wait. At at sometimes you might not be ready for it. But at, at some at some point in life, after you've been with someone for so long, you feel as if you owe it to that person yeah, but see, to so, get married but to them. I understand that perspective, but y'all still have to have that real conversation. Yeah. Because y'all see, most times, most people, they stay on the surface for the whole time and so all hype and everything, right? Mm. Then they get married, move in together, and then when the pressure comes and they start seeing other stuff, it's like, oh, how to deal with this family getting involved, friends involved, and... That's and another thing too. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't be some involved. Some people get married and have and develop a certain amount of emotional maturity to deal with these real things that come with marriage, bro. Yeah, 
And well, that's another thing too. I don't. I feel as if I can't. I can't marry someone if I never lived with them before. Yeah, ah, a, I can't marry someone if that's a month. You know that's what I mean? Fact. If I know what what the deal is, you know, down south. Yeah, you you know, know what I mean? I I don't think I could I could do that. Just expecting it to be the greatest thing ever and all that. Like I I straight on that. Let I'm me up. open up my gift first, and if I like what I see inside, then we can continue what we got going on. I've always tell people I recommend that you should live with your significant other before you ever venture into marriage because Facts. you learn so much more about that person because you're living with them. The yep. things that they do when they putting on, the way they come by you, and when you buy them, that ain't the same thing, bro. Exactly. It's a in, day in and day out, <laughs> sleep, wake up. You, you get the head up, see that person shit even. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Watch that person fart. Like like you can imagine that first night, you know, first, that first morning you wake up next to and. She have all her makeup off, all her weave off. You're like, but who the fuck you is next to oh. me? Oh, <laughs> two, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> she three lady five skit when uh, the girls sleep over, and she in the kitchen cooking the makeup, and she had her makeup off, right? And you come in the kitchen, say, oh, what are you doing here, nigga? <laughs> hey, babe, call the police. I see that one. So, no, uh, wait, you watch the beat, then come so you go, you gonna do that? You gonna get, you gonna move in with? Oh, he doesn't record yeah. it. You know, you can move in with yeah, the people before you. Yeah, for sure. Have so to. you you on the pot so moving in and all this. Not right now. No, I I was curious, you know, because you know, you're speaking as if a man who's ready to get married, and I applaud that, you know. No, I say I'm ready to <laughs> get married. And I say that I could see myself getting married in the future. I see, and uh, I feel as if you feel that way because you you, you come from a marriage household, yeah, you know. This is all you've seen your entire life, and I understand it. I'm not uh, knocking yeah. it, but you know. But it works for some people. It does, and everything is not for everybody. Exactly. So we have to learn to accept and respect that. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Don't knock me because I don't want these things that getting, society wants. Are you getting dead? There's no need for that, buddy. There's no need I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking in general, you know. And I'm not speaking just for me. But he just feels passionate about it. I feel like we all, I mean, everything is not for everybody. We all yeah, have our own real. paths in life that's, to that's travel. Real, bro. You know, that's why you gotta let people do their thing, man. So this is, hey, to be real, I, I, I like this song. This is one of my favorite songs. I, when I first heard this song, I thought I was in love. <laughs> I just. This hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you was, you was hey, playing hey, a song. Hold on, hold on. What's, what's, what's the reason behind you playing the song right now? He said he cried out. That's how he's feeling, you know? Marriage? Oh, okay. Because okay, yeah. I got that song right. on my wedding playlist. I remember. <laughs> but I remember after my first dance. Like, you know, the, nah. you, know, you, used to do, you know, you used to do the primary school dance? Wait, <laughs> we never used to play these kind of songs in my primary school dance. I try to play you know, ring play. I wang it up and... Not to my, not down. What private school you going to do, bro? Down. Oh, yeah. They're, they're they're bar, yeah. Down. yeah what? <laughs> no, bro. They, no, when they're winding down, they play in the most rumping shop song, hey. whatever. That's what they're talking about. When y'all let it like, but you just dance with someone else. What the name is? I name will be the slowest. Hey, don't lie. I ain't gonna lie. What well, I think I can say, bro? I was in the deal. You know the slowest song on you. Hey, what I think I can say? What I think I can say? Us growing up in school. Is way different from how these youngins growing up in school right now. Cause when it comes to fun days uh, and them disco, it used to be monsters, you know, boy. My God, used to be so hot. I thought he's grinding, boy. Like, that's what I said. I used to think I grind it, but you see, sausage is there. <laughs> Mother, what that was it? Cock hard the whole fun day. Yeah, I know we talking about. <laughs> mm, they know. <laughs> Trust me. He say. So, so you ain't getting married no more. You see yourself getting married. I get married, but I only got one wedding. You get married next year, bro. All right, let's move off of that then. The sports. Let's get on. Let's get on some sports. Um, huh? She won. So you mean like how the Lakers cut the old DM except LeBron? Well, I saw that coming though. I didn't see. I didn't see a lot of. Hold on. They cut Jared too. Yeah. They cut him too. I don't think he's on that this year. What a sick. I saw. Um, I saw that happening because I didn't see them bringing a lot of these guys back. They had a lot of them on one year. See them a lot of them. No, but I think they kept Dudley <laughs> Baker. Chris, um, Dudley? Dudley still on there? I think he is. Cause just so the Lakers sign, they sign Casal back. They get Taylor, Taylor Norton Tucker. They get Melo. Trade for Westbrook. I don't think the Westbrook is going to fit that well. But we'll see how it goes. Boy, Westbrook is a point guard right now. They get um, Howard back. 
They should have leave him where he was. They got Malik Monk, Kendrick Nunn. Um, who else? Wesley Matthews. Wesley ain't there no more. But he right there. I, I think he on the ra- um, the roster. Three point six million dollars. Hey. Yeah, that's, yeah, you on it because it's the whole Lakers squad here. They did a pretty hey, good job. Ken Ken Bazemore. Ken Bazemore that too. Yeah. Funny, I just look at it just now. Um, why are we making liberal money, bro? Why are these niggas making this liberal account? They are minimum, veteran minimum. Hey, one year. veteran minimum is one year. And if you don't make it, then you might as well retire or hopefully another team pick you up for one year. He ain't Wait, 16 million? He, he ain't getting that. He ain't that no more. Uh, yeah, he just signed to Boston. My boy got that 5.9. Oh, yeah, I would talk with him. <laughs> I would talk with him. Oh. Uh, Dennis Rudolph. Dennis Ruder last year, I mean not this year, March, early this year, the Lakers offered him four years, eighty-four million. He turned it down. That's that's the hype of not reading the market, not knowing what other players of your caliber is getting. Yeah. Um, he overvalued. Marcus him. Smart, seventy-three million for three years. He just signed for that. For Celtics. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Um. But he is, but he is getting tra- 23 million a year. He going to Lakers? No, 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 no. they're in the negotiation. Cause mm-hmm. no, uh, but I don't sure think they're gone now. I think he could get, they can't uh, get him anymore. They could get him. Yeah, but, but what did they is the tent? This the tent, you know. They, yeah, they, they just said after, said, after trade, 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 trade Schroeder. They have negotiation with Buddy. Buddy uh, originally they was tra- they was um they, trying to, with um they were trying to get The Lakers don't have enough. They don't have enough to get them. They were trying Bro. to get a sign and trade. Bro. Where they, where Stop being so pessimistic. All they got to do is say, buddy. you and buddy get a ring. To let buddy catch his I, train. Buddy, like, listen to me. Buddy. I have a Lakers, right? <laughs> they may say, buddy, we can't pay you four years, 100 million. But we can give you two years, 60 million. With a ring. With a ring? Take that. That's not it, but they have to involve a third team. So they can't. The, they can't. The thing is, they lost, they lost leverage when they trade Kuzma. And um, KCP, that's the real, that's the real yeah, reason well, why see, they can't have Yeah, well, see, when Ndake right there, they was trying to decide between Buddy and Westbrook, and they went and they with Westbrook. Westbrook. So and that deal is off the table. Now, I think next year, Buddy get opt out. Buddy, give me the Lakers this year. We should have said the 10th, yeah. that they negotiation it after the trade, but, but they can send someone off their bench. In Chicago. Plus, Plus a top pick in another draft or something bro, to get Buddy on that team, bro. If Ellington ain't, Ellington ain't going, put him in there, man. Chicago, put a young fella, Chicago, just get Buddy on the Lakers, buddy. At the end of the day, well, Buddy don't want to be in Sacramento. Who won, Buddy? Who oh, oh, won, Buddy? Chicago? No, I say Chicago looking better. Yeah, they got they got Ball, Ball. they got um Levine, and yeah. your boy. Uh, um, who just uh, called that? Someone else. Rosen, I think. Demar, Demar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Demar. Yeah. Plus, they get uh, your boy who was who was uh, carrying on bad in the finals and was surprised. The ball head boy, he get locked up in Texas in the Lakers. Oh, Caruso, yeah, Caruso, yeah, Caruso, Caruso mm. Randall too. Um, the Heat's looking better. Heat's look good. Uh, hey, where where Ben Simmons is? They still Philly, right? Yeah, he's still in Philly for now. No one won Ben Simmons, boy. That's all right. Yeah, but you can't fuck up on a on a um eight, you left eighty four like, million dollar coin. Yeah, you left like seventy five million on the table. Like I, when I first heard, he should that fire. He should fire his agent. So how much he had when he got to Celtics? Five point nine million. He's a he's a ass. The fuck, bro. From from my head, I believe I like, boy, I don't think this boy that. I don't even watch ball like that no more, right? Mm-hmm. But I just wasn't getting them type of vibes, the games I saw from him. And I'm like, because cause 120 million. Ben I Simmons know is the worst number one draft pick in the NBA. <laughs> no, but he, your boy. No. My, 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 um, my short, what the nigga name, man? Who come with the same year with LeBall, Le, um, Lonzo Ball? Then? Marshall oh. Folks. Oh, that nigga's Ma- Michael Folks. Michael Folks. That oh, nigga Michael. God, nah, bro. Oh, but I still think Ben Hyper. That's where you go to New York, yeah. right? He went to New York. He going to the Magic when they, 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 they drop him. So yeah. I just, yeah, 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 the I just think Ben Simmons is the worst number one draft pick ever. Markel Ma- 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 I, 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 I ain't being careful with that. I being stern and on my ten toes with my opinion on that one. Well, the jury, you know the jury is out on the Lakers. I don't know how they can look. I don't think they. I don't think Westbrook will fit well with the Lakers. I don't think so either. Um, I don't like it, but we can see. Westbrook yeah, woman, remember that. Hopefully he gets surprised. Yeah, hopefully they surprise. I hope nah. they surprise me. You know what can be a major shock? I gotta catch a game. When Kawhi Leonard don't go back to the Clippers. Hey, 
going. That can be a shock. What would your boy, you just signed the Bohemian by Kai Jones. I watch him do a major dunk during the, the summer league summer in league? Vegas. You, you, you saw that dunk? No, no I, I see it. Run it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. He jab step to the left, going to the right, two step, he after the free throw line, and post it. He's going to New York, right? Or they yeah, no, Charlotte. They Charlotte. Charlotte. Right, right. So it'd be, it'd be him, Ball, yeah, him, um, LaMelo hey, Ball. New York drops if, him, and they trade him to Charlotte. No, we going straight to Charlotte. New York him No, 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 no. He got yes. traded. He got traded. Yes, New York drop him. He got drafted to oh, New York and, he going, and, and trade Charlotte the Hornets. Trade him. Yeah, because I think they, they, New York had the, I mean, sorry, Charlotte had the New York trade. Yeah. And oh, okay. New York, sorry, drop. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Is he? That, but him and him and Melo, they can be having some good alley-oops yeah. together. Kai. No, but you don't forget my look at that boy. Um, I know, um, 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 you know, I know, you know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Probably? No, no with, the, with, the, with the hair vibe, right? I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I know you're talking he's, about. He's the Santa boy. Beasley. Malik Beasley. Number zero? That's, that's the baby. Oh, yeah, man. The center. <laughs> the center. The center. But Kai Jones going on, that could be solid, bro. Yeah. Trust me. Mm. Him and I can see him and Melo really gelling together. He might be a Jordan Brand. But y'all think y'all think uh the third ball can finally make the Hornets roster? He made it? No, he ain't he made, it, make it yet, but he, I asked he's him in summer he league playing, it. right? Yeah, he's in summer league. Yeah, I think he can make it. He's the best shooter of the family. The best shooter be quiet. of the family. And the only thing would exclude him from shooter. playing in the NBA be was when he go on the free and he didn't play for me. Like some technicality. No, what mm, I, no, what he, he ended up catching a case. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Like he shit. Um, he called defense. Some shit. And yeah. China China. Or something. Yeah. That was the dumbest shit ever. I know you feel like shit, bro. Your two brothers are in the NBA making their own con, and you're just struggling to make this shit be. Because you steal some fucking shits like in mine. <laughs> Come on, shit. Hey, at the end of the day, um, if he does make the roster, I know they was actually considering to send Lonzo Ball down to Hornets too. That would have been probably history right there to have yeah. those three brothers on the same team. Because that's what the old man wanted because he said I'm three of the chemistry. Yeah. But they ain't, but all of them in the same position though. So it still ain't gonna work out. Hold on, Angelo's play point guard. No, but he, he's like a he's like a two tree. Two tree. Yeah, and the rest of them is like one twos. Yeah, one. So, and we all watching um, Raising Canaan. I am watching Raising Canaan. Yes, it's I am. not. It, it, it still don't. hasn't hit me yet. I can be real. It still ain't grasped my attention. You don't think that far. better? You don't think that better than um? No. The, um, the Power? No. Tyreek? No. Ghost? Thank, thank no. you, Bizzo. Thank you. No. You didn't think they're better? Than no. no. You have no. to understand, when it comes to raising Keenan, that's going Back prior to power. You see what I'm saying? All yeah. right. So tell me, y'all want to see Keenan, I mean, y'all want to see um, Tyreek running from fucking to, 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 the, to the jailhouse, to school. Bro, to you have to understand. To meet the fucking plug. Over the, over, over the shit what Keenan doing right now, yeah. Everywhere he just let me show you all over the fucking show. Just let me let me, let me show you why. Let me show you why. Let me show you why. Because if one he following the daddy exact footsteps, realize they got Tariq and a white boy. That's Tommy and Ghost. Is it? Is it? That nigga ain't no Tommy. That white boy. No, he no Tommy. But that's Tommy and Ghost all over again. But that's the same. That's the same thing. That's the same exact exact plot with um raising Keenan, like. His mother didn't want him in, in the space that he, he's trying to be in. His mommy was already in it, though. He wanted to be there, though. Exact same yeah. thing with Tyreek. Yeah, in a way. Ghost didn't want that for him. In a way. I okay. guess I just think that... Talk? I just think that... Y'all um, tripping. Y'all bugging. I just you, think that power to book... Me, to be honest... Like, to me, like, to totally be honest with you, I didn't really care to see a story about Keenan. Because you like it. But it's interesting. Like, in terms of the show, the show is better. You know why it's interesting like to story you? The storyline is better. That's why I'm interested in you because when you was watching Power, Kanan died too early for you. One, and then um, the his story when he, when he's saying, yo, we go way back. If I did this for you back then, you want to see that shit. I, I want to see that. You say, say, and that's what I wait on. I wait on that result. Yeah. That's, what I, that's why I ain't when so he, hyped. When I he finally meet Ghost and Tommy. I want to no, see I all really that. No, I see when he meet Ghost and Tommy. No, I want to see like, because don't forget, he became who he was before, he like a little before that. Too, bro. Yeah. You got to be fucking kidding me. These niggas tripping. These niggas wild, I, I I did like I did like the the watch party they had. I saw it on the ground. 
I like how they bring out the nineties block though. I don't want to see. I don't want to see no kiddie shit with um, Tyreek in college and. That's the difference, yeah, bro. But it's college problems, bro. Tyreek huh? smart as fuck. I you telling you, you fucking tree bitches. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> tell it though, but they get the catch. Like, <laughs> I tell you, and and that's in modern day times. You hey, know? and he's so smart. You know, you don't have to get into a fist fight. That nigga sharp as fuck on the break. He's smart, bro. He get his ass bust. He can shoot you though. You can kill a couple of niggas. Like a goal he would. Yeah, but he go all of that. Get him better than that shit with Tyreek any day. You uh, get me and Rizzo disagree with you. So that's yeah. Fine. You rock with what you rock with, you can rock with what you rock with. But yeah, BM, yeah. BMF? He's I, watch Coco I Melon and thing, but don't forget. He's watch huh? Coco Melon. <laughs> so. But EMF, I want C50 on that. That'll watch, production. That'll watch Coco Melon when you, when you, when you got to play Step Father. Who playing Step Father 2? You got to figure out. I watch Coco Melon because my little boy into that. Nah. Like, I miss it on a lot of kiddie shows. My daughter stopped watching them for a little while, but Yo. Like, my son, now nah, you on that. My goddaughter came and spent four hours with me one day. And my mom dummy say, play Coco Melon. I watched probably 20 minutes. After that, I watched Boss Baby with that little girl. <laughs> Boss Baby is the shit. I don't care what yeah. no one say. They like that kind of Boss shit. Boss Baby really. is the shit. That's what I thought. I, I like Boss Baby. I saw the first one. I didn't see, I didn't see any. Yeah, any uh, episodes? No. Oh, you mean Boss Baby? Like it's a movie, right? Yeah, yes. I thought you was going to raise the series. Nah, that's they have a series, too. It's a series, yeah. Oh, they have a series yeah. now? Yeah, I was oh, watching my niece and nephews on Netflix. Bro, oh, okay, okay. I think Boss Baby is for boys, and you put Coco Melon on for your daughters. Say no more. I got to let my watching Boss Baby from now so, on. So what you watching when Shorty come through? What Shorty, boy? What you talking about with Shorty? What the fuck you talking about, boy? What Shorty, boy? Mm-hmm. What are you, boy? Wow. Your group? You gonna drink? Anyway, what else y'all watching? I was watching a show. Um, I think it's called Outlanders or something like that on Netflix. Out of Binds. Out of Binds. Jeez. Yeah, that was a good I shit too. That, that was, was good shit. That yeah, was good shit. It was real good. Was nice. Oh yeah, nice. Real good, like it. I gotta get into that. I day. typically, I, like I said, I typically don't like the kiddie shit, like all the kiddie problems and. You know, when teenage problems, yeah, yeah, we're having all those issues, but it's some real shit they got into. Um, hit and run was solid, too. Well, well, it's no Titans, hit um, and run. I don't know if they bring a new uh season Umbrella Academy. I was used to watch. Oh, I, I like Umbrella Academy. I watch I watched the first season, um, I didn't really Umbrella stick Academy. with me, yeah. But didn't stick with one me. show I want all you to go home and watch tonight is Malice in the Palace. Go if. I'm, everyone knows about the Pacers Pistons fight, right? Yeah. NBA, we all sports enthusiasts here. So go and watch the breakdown of that fight, bro. It's on. It's on Netflix. Malice and the Ballas. Trust me. I can watch it tonight. What, Trust me. What, what's your go-to movie when you're trying to get some pussy? Like you got something to slide over. I don't have a. I don't have a go-to movie. Like like, what do you? What do you put on? Man? I asked I, I asked a female what does she want to watch, what kind of movie she like to watch, horror, comedy. I, I asked her. I mean, because most of the time I talk in the, about the finesse, so I don't really give a fuck what on. Yeah, about that's the what finesse. I'm saying. You go into the house to finesse? You said it's my first, is that first time coming over? <laughs> yeah, or? but the finesse should be for before she get by you. Yeah, and then I have to put into finesse to get the pussy at that point. The finesse was to get it there, oh. right around with them. Well, I, I had a movie I had a movie that me and this one chick in the past we we called our keyword, you know, because the first time I was like, you know, Netflix and chill, you know. So right. I said, Come over, let's go watch some Netflix. What you wanna watch? The mechanic, you cool with that? You know what I mean? With Jason Statham and all yeah, that. Action, right? So started playing that. But then the first two scenes, we didn't even know what happened for the rest of the movie. Exactly. So like, whenever Whenever we want to have our little sneaky link, she was like, I need a mechanic. I'm like, all right. Like, I'm oh, right so that was, cool, that was the code? That was the code word. Code? That's what I'm telling you. That was right. our key word for, you know. So, yeah. Okay. That's how so, that what, 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 you saw like you have a go-to movie. What it is? Me and this. You watch Baby Boy. I, I'm not going to put it on now. I just want to hear it. Um, 365. Eh? No, man. It's a society movie. What, what the fuck? That what the fuck you again, on, bro? Like that's a that's a gangster that's flick. A gangster what shit, that bro. gotta do with getting pussy? Gangsters get girls wet. Nigga, get the 
Right. I guess what he's trying to say is he's scared them girls who ain't used to the streets. So when no, he put no, that this, little this, streak, this nigga bougie with these chicks. You know that shit. <laughs> right? I don't want no fucking so, gangster girl. So Not this he introduced her. He introduced her to Yo, street life. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah, he, he said, that's how we drive. Why do you think? Why you think I just like? The, the best there. <laughs> like, I like some shitty bitches too. No, he no, 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 no. Light skins, ladies and gentlemen. No, not only. No, he likes. No, 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 that's not true. Curly hair. No, not true. Don't 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 <laughs> no, he likes the best of any complexion. See, this, you this know, know why? Light that? skins no. with curly hair. Hold on, but you know that's why? That's what he likes. You know why he said that? Because he is being the all their posts on Instagram, and you can see a double tap every time. Guess who is neat there? Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Realize, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just said he be ending them, so that means that I met him there. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I see you there it's because God. me and you follow each other. So when I see at rivers underscore hey. three six hey. nine, hey, what you doing in the same strip club with me if you don't like the same strippers? We, there's only one strip club in Nassau. Wow. All right. hey. <laughs> the let me like the let me let me tell you why. I tell you like the best of the best, right? I've shown you some females before. And you're like, oh no. And my whole thing is, we all have a criteria when it comes to selection. Who we want to show off yeah. or who we want to keep tight or whatever. And then we have a type where just, you know, you smash and go. See, that's the nigga smash and go level. You know no. what I mean? Like, come on, nigga. You, you, you have I a know. criteria. See, Don't I, think, I think no, I have that issue too. We are, huh? two different, we are two different starters like, in yeah. our life and things that. I have sex, but that's fun no more. Exactly. Same thing here. Watch this, bro. One thing Nigga, one thing I with me. One thing with me, bro, is like, if I fucking with you, I could see me having a relationship with you. If if something happens, I don't care if you get pregnant. You see what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Because I already know my selection to I fuck like with that. you was up to a certain <laughs> level. See, that is, that's 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 because you probably trying to consistently fuck. Like if I don't fuck with you on a level, like if you ain't reached my criteria. I give you three and I gone. Bro, I ain't even wasting my gone. time talking to someone I'm interested Shit, in. Bro. Don't let you don't let you That's live in the east. Don't let me live in the east. You get one. Talk to you. <laughs> Cause you live far, nigga. Wait, <laughs> Wait for hey. me the girl. She live in the east. Yeah. Baby, you drive? Oh, I, I ain't got no car. This nigga, you swear I think. I go east. You know, one time. I go east. <laughs> you, you swear I think this Fort Lauderdale you live in. Big guy, I been living in the west for like 13, 14 years. He's complaining. If you live in the east, I ain't coming away. I gotta really like you. He's complaining about everywhere, boy. Like, he, we all, you, he live in the West and didn't want to come up here to do it. He's here, father, there. I'm here. You, you fucking, like, I'm here. come on, there's 21 miles. I'm here, nigga. I'm here. But you, 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 you bougie with your bitches, bro. So don't, don't make it seem like, and then, when I don't mention certain women, you be like, I don't know. I be like, calm down. Like, I go, nah, you know, put your bougie. I'm fucking you. Bougie. You have the wrong perception. As much as you know me, all these years, you still have the wrong perception. And I tell you, that thing I that every time I talk to you. Nigga, you bougie with your bitches. Anyway, <laughs> I really get on you. Y'all got anything else to talk about? I ain't got nothing. No, bro, that's it. What y'all got lined up for the weekend? Boy, I left my life last weekend. It wasn't even all that live, so <laughs> I just spent a lot of time. Well, last weekend, I spent a lot of money, too, because it's my daughter's birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, So I took her and her friends out to dinner. She did the water park and all that. Had my little man there too, so oh, it was uh, family. Oh, I just want to say um, condolences to Thomas. Uh, his dad passed last yeah. night. Um, condolences, T. Condolences, T. Uh, prayers are with you and your family. You know, just continue to get well. Uh, I guess it'll get better over time. I think uh, I can only imagine like losing one of my one of my family members, much much less my parent. You know. So yeah. Fox. I just saw him yesterday, dude. dude yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, Rest in peace. Imagine the pain he's going through uh, right now. So just prayers with you, prayers with your family, buddy. Uh, Hold your head. Stay safe. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know. I got anything else? Yeah. Uh, my weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna be planning another vacation. <laughs> where, where you at? Where you at? It. I'm probably going to Orlando. Right. Spend a few days or two weeks over there. Where you going with? Ties yeah. ah, money long with your boy. Say what? Big money. Who your you money long. It ain't, it ain't money long. Let me show you what it is, bro. It's called using air miles. So let me teach y'all something right now, mm-hmm. okay? When I go to LA and I go to these different states, I barely spend any money, you know? Mm-hmm. All this, though, seeing the quick trips to Miami, mm-hmm. I fly with one airline. So me flying them over a period of time, I accumulate points. I apply those points to longer journeys, which would be to someone like LA. So I spend less on the airfare, right? Mm-hmm. 
mm. most times you if you if you use all your points or majority of the points that would be for the tickets, like for example, thirty three thousand points, the only thing you're paying on top of that is seventy five dollars, which is taxes for your ticket. So you fly to LA for seventy five dollars. You see nice. what I'm saying? So practice that. Whenever y'all go away, choose one airline and fuck with them for a period of time. Yeah, bro. I, and see uh, how it goes. I think my hey. last couple trips was American Airlines. Yeah. Y'all, you, I mean, I just want I just want to ask you a question. Y'all go away with like a girl you like just met in yeah. a week? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? If I feel you know why not? Um, me, Nala Banks? That'd be the best, though. <laughs> Nala probably been for I the mean, ticket. That'd be the best trip. <laughs> Uh, 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 he paying for the ticket. Boy, I know. You don't doing that? I know. Bro, we had the air trade now. Listen, let's listen. Get bro. Yeah, let's get over here. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, I, I thought about it and I'm like, hmm, this ain't like a gal who I didn't know of. And then a week? No, this just someone I just meet a week. Hold on. I we fuck yet? I ready bro. fuck? No. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, you, no, 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 no. If you ain't paying for the we, ticket, what's the issue? I think God. You see what I'm saying? You paying for the ticket? No. You gonna pay for the shopping? What's shopping? Nigga, y'all going away. No, you no, think no, she ain't going to fucking shop? We just happen to be going to the same city and state at, at the so, same time. So, so, so she ain't going to want shop. Because from a behemoth, the girl thing you taking shop. away, she hey, wants shop. She can shop, but she better have her own money to shop. Yeah. I mean, I mean, help you out with getting meals and uh, yeah, I make you, yeah, you know, yeah, something, something. But I ain't doing it. I ain't going on this vacation. I ain't going to get you something on the trip. Yeah. We just chilling out. That's it. We just chilling. Nothing we plan. No, 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 no. I ain't doing it. It's a difference if we come for that particular flat. Like we vibing on that level, but I just meet you. I know that, bro. Week, so I don't think it's gonna be that. Pay for the Uber. You I know that. Even show up by yourself. With my woman, when we go away, baby, it's our dining budget. That's what we need. <laughs> come with your half and don't worry about the rest. That's what he said. Don't come with your half. Don't worry about the rest. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> <fuck. laughs> that's good on the air, bro. On that note. That was. Only cutting around. Only cutting around. But anyway. Thanks for rocking with us. 